From your standpoint, this is a good thing because of the stability factor. Is that the, is that the main thing, the main reason you wanted to, to get back into this? That definitely. Uh, um, I mean, obviously, what Coach G had had done here, uh, you know, not only not only last year or the previous couple of years, uh, you know, with having the success that the team had, but but really what he's done since he's been here, he's really built uh, the program back up to uh, where it's respectable. And uh, you know, I, I think that obviously. The great thing about you know Coach G and, and myself, Jeff, Brett, you know we all had a similar basketball philosophy. So um, there really wasn't a lot of arguing on the way we were going to do things. Uh, you know we all felt that uh, you know the the right way to do things, and and you know so it's something that uh, you know from the kids' standpoint they won't know anything different other than it's a you know somebody different yelling at them. Um, uh, you know so I, I think long term it's it's the best solution. Um, you know, I'm excited about it. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, there's going to be very high expectations. Uh, you know, Kurt uh, has set the bar pretty high. So, uh, uh, you know, short of going 30 and 0 and winning a state championship, uh, you know, I'm going to fail. But, uh, you know, that's that's part of it. I, I can I can deal with that part. And and uh, you know, look, looking forward to the opportunity. It's a great group of kids. Uh, you know, again, the, the system is in place. You know, we just got to go out and, and 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 play well and continue to work hard like we have. Do you think that will make the girls? I, I already asked one of the girls about this, but you know, their comfort level. They, you know, like you said, they won't know anything different. So that, and that's another key with a team coming back with with experience like that. You didn't want to upheaval, you know, when you're trying to defend a state championship. <clears throat> right. The, the the biggest thing I think with with this group, I mean, they're they're very talented. Um, you know, and anybody can come in here and and and, and coach these kids and win a lot of games. Uh, but I think when you're talking about you know being great, when you're talking about winning state championships. Uh, there's a lot of other things that go into it other than being good and being talented. Uh, you know, and those are the things that I think that, um, you know, by having this transition will minimize that, um, you know, uh, the, 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 the focus that these kids had, the way that they, they got along, the way they played together, um, you know, the, the way they understand, um, you know, what we want done as coaches from an offensive and defensive standpoint. You know, they don't have to think out there a lot of times. And, and, and again, I, I definitely don't want to put it on the system because, it, you know, 90, 95% of it is, is the girls and, and how good they are individually. Uh, but, again, when, when you play at that elite level, um, you know, you got to have a little luck involved. You know, you got to have, uh, you know, a togetherness, and, and this group has it. And I think, you know, again, with, with me moving into the position, uh, you know, we should just be able to keep things rolling. Now, you've also coached these girls uh, several years coming up through, uh, ele- or not elementary, but AAU. Uh, when did that start? And, and also, that, that makes it another reason makes it, you know, a pretty good transition. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I know these kids. Uh, and, uh, you know, my, my daughter, who's a sophomore now, was in second grade when, when we started, uh, you know, and, and had Kennedy Wall and, and Whitney Wilson and, uh, and, and Lauren Boshears and, and, and Jenna and, you know, a lot of those kids, you know, I've, I've coached for a lot of years. So, you know, they know me, I know them, um, you know. So, again, I think from a, a transition standpoint, I, I don't know if the kids will notice anything different. Now, it's, it's, I've always, we've always joked about, the, you know, moving one seat over, you know, the, the seat gets a lot hotter uh, when, when you're assistant, you know, the blame's not with you. So how will your experience uh, of the two years as the boys' basketball coach uh, help you now in knowing what to expect? Well, I think, you know, I mean, wh- whether you're you're the head coach or the assistant coach, you, you, you still get lumped in there. So, um, you know, as far as perception and, and everything is concerned, I'm not sure things will change a whole lot. But, uh, you know, the, the administrative side of it, you know, and, and that's really, you know, the, the difficult part for me, you know, having, you know, owning a business uh, in town and, and having other commitments from that standpoint, uh, you know, actual time on the gym floor or time with the girls, you know, I was here anyway. So that part of it's not going to change. But, you know, what is going to change? And, you know, and it, it seems minor, but, you know, before, you know, Kurt said the bus is leaving at 4 o'clock, I didn't be at 4 o'clock. I didn't have to put any, you know, I didn't have to make any decisions as far as, you know, making sure we're fed before games, making sure, uh, um, you know, what time the bus is going to leave, you know, and those types of things. So, you know, that's the part of it that, that is time consuming that, you know, from my standpoint where I really enjoyed the role that I'd been in where I could just coach the kids. You know, I didn't have to worry about all the other stuff. I didn't have to worry about playing time. I didn't have to worry about who was mad, who was happy. I just coached kids. And um, and, and that's the part that, that I think any coach would tell you they enjoy. Um, you know, the other side of it um, is, is part of the business. And, uh, you know, you just got to accept that and move on. And, and, and again, hopefully, um, you know, with this group of kids, this group of parents, 
again, you know, I know them all really well. Um, you know, have been involved with their kids for a long period of time. And, and again, not that they're always going to agree with every decision you make, <clears throat> but you do hope that they respect it uh, and and that they know that you know you have the best interests of you know the the team at heart. And and, and that's the tough thing is as a as a head coach, you know, you're you're making decisions based on a team and and. You know, and, and individually, sometimes that that that's not always the decision that you know the parents would like for their individual kid. But um, you know, that's that's part of the business. Well, uh, you also have a team coming back virtually intact, eight out of the top ten, which I would gather means extreme competition for very few spots. Uh, so that's something that right away that you know, you're going to have to make some tough decisions on. You mentioned playing time, well, right there, right away here, and when the fall gets here in winter. Uh, you got a team that's yes, ready built, but still some some tough decisions will have to be made. Right. Uh, well, you know, as I as I said during the the tournament run last year, uh, you know, fortunately we're we're very good, and, and and fortunately we have a lot of very good players. Um, that's that's good from a coaching standpoint. Unfortunately for the girls individually, um, you know, we have a lot of very talented players, and and you know whether it's playing time, whether it's shots, whether it's you know scoring, um, you know all those things. People have to make sacrifices, and, and and again, I thought that was the the one thing that that Kurt did a remarkable job of last year was getting the kids really buy into that, and and, and that'll be the challenge that I have and, and and that we have as coaches is to to continue to get them to buy into the fact that you know it, it's about being out, it's about doing you know what's best for the Lady Stars basketball team, and you know if if we do that, then the individual accolades will come uh, because you know again you know you. We have a lot of very talented girls, um, you know, and you know, as you said, the top eight kids are back, which is a a good thing. Uh, but uh, you know, it, it, it's not a great thing for the underclassmen that typically are, are going to be moving up and 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 and, and want to be playing at the varsity level. Um, you know, they'll, they'll have that opportunity, but uh, you know, it'll be a a hill to have to climb.